The old Madden promo just dropped in Madden 25 Ultimate Team, and in this video, we're going to be showcasing how you can get a free 91 overall card, as well as more excitingly, a new event slash mode EA put in the game, as well as potentially a solid reroll to open up. Let's yap. Now, Soul Salsa family, and welcome back to another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. Without further ado, let's get this bad boy started and talk about John Madden. Because John Madden is going to be your free upgrade player you get for logging into the game. And if you want to boost this card up to the full 91 overall version, you got to get eight John Madden upgrade tokens. Now, the tokens are relatively easy to earn. We'll talk about how you can get them really quickly at the start of the video. Then I'm going to go over and talk about those other two aspects I mentioned in the intro. Now, first things first, the number one thing you guys got to be doing to get tokens at this game is playing through the all Madden solo challenges. There's only six solos in here. It's very, very simple. You'll get one upgrade token at tier one. You'll get another one at tier three and another one at tier number five. And here's exactly what they look like. You're going to get the upgrade tokens that you need to boost John Madden up. So there's the first three, but let's go over how we're going to get those final few to boost them all the way to the 91. Now to get those final few tokens, we're going on over to our field pass and there's actually quite a few tokens you can earn in here. Tier three, there's one tier five, there's another tier seven, there's there's another tier nine. There's another that is four upgrade tokens right there. Four from the field pass, three from the solo challenges brings us to a number of seven. And I'm not going to lie. I don't know where you get the final upgrade token. I don't see it anywhere in this field pass. I don't see any sets. I don't see anything in the head to head event. I'm not really so sure what EA is doing with that. I'm assuming in part two, they'll release it somewhere. Maybe they'll just give it to us in a welcome pack. We'll see. But for some reason, you can only get seven of the eight that you need right now. So EA fix that up. Okay, now let's get into the more exciting stuff in this video. Let's talk about the new head-to-head -head event because honestly, this one's interesting. When they dropped it in the game, I was like, there's no way this is worth playing. But I went through, I played my first three games and boys, they are two minute quarter games. These are literally insanely fast games. And if you go through and win four games in a row, I won three of them. You're going to get two all Madden run coin packs or an 84 plus player pack. And I'm not going to lie, the 84 plus player pack, it's probably not that amazing, but the coin packs could be interesting. They give you a quick sell up to 30 5,000 coins. We'll have to see how good that is. I'm going to be going through and probably winning my fourth and final game or hopefully winning my fourth and final game for my no money spent video coming on Sunday. So if you want to stay up to date with that, hit that sub button because I'll open those packs. But boys, what makes me think it's going to be pretty solid and actually give you a nice number of coins is the three run reward is a 20k coin quick sell pack. I would think that realistically, why would our four run reward give us less than 20k per pack? Now it might, who knows, but if it's given us 25k, 30k, 35k per pack, we're making maybe 50, 60, or 75,000 coins for winning four games. And boys, it's two minute quarters. You know what, man? This could be worth playing. I'll try it out for my No Money Spend episode, and you guys can watch that video if you want to. And I'll show you just how good the pack is. All right, now before we move on to a couple other tips and tricks you guys gotta know about, on the screen right here are my picks for Thursday night football tonight, boys. We're doing the same thing that we did on Monday night football. We're going with two pick twos, and we're hoping to hit them both. Because on Monday night football, if you guys remember, we hit both of the picks I posted for you guys winning us over $200, which we love to see. Let's do the exact same thing tonight. If you want to make some picks and copy mine, I'm leaving Underdog linked down below in the description. Underdog is the place where I'm making those picks. And for those of you that are curious, here is my addition to my streak pick. Boys, our streak is at six. If we get 10 picks in a row, we turn 10 bucks into 2,000. It's an awesome feature on Underdog. And so far, we've done really well. If we hit this pick, we're going to be getting really close. Nick Chubb, let's get those carries up. All right, now let's talk about a couple other interesting things to mention in this video. Video. Now, beyond going through and playing that at dead event, we also probably want to max out this field pass. What should you guys be doing? We already talked about the solos. We already talked about that head-to-head -head event, which is going to be giving you progress in here. Additionally, you're going to get progress on your stats. All you need to do is throw John Madden in your lineup and open up the one coin pack in the store right here and put whatever card you pull out of this in your lineup. As you guys can see, this will give us an all Madden player. We need two in our lineup to get progress on those missions. So whoever we get, uh, we'll put them in. It doesn't really matter what position they are. We're getting an 89. Ronnie Lott. Oh, it's actually a tradable, bro. That's actually an awesome pull. I'm selling Ronnie Lott. That's a 100k coin pull right here. But if you don't pull someone like 89 overall Ronnie Lott, you're probably going to sell them off immediately. I'll take 100k. That's awesome. Drop a like for pack luck. Now, beyond that, you also got to complete one hero set in this game to get a good bit of XP. If you guys want to go through and get your hero sets done, go on over to the all Madden sets and you're realistically going to want to try and find these 86 overall cards at 20k if possible. As you guys can see, we're seeing 26 right here. If we 
we see 20 or even just close to 20, you're going to be spending about like 110 to get this set done. And then Ronnie Lott, as we can see, is selling for 110. So you're going to make your coins back. Of course, you're losing 10% for EA's tax, but you do go through and get a solid bit of XP. I would say that's worth doing. Now, beyond that, the Mutt Twitter streets are saying that this reroll is actually pretty gas. So I'm going to give it a go right here in today's video. We also actually have a couple mystery pack make rights to open up right here. I don't know if these will even open up because I think mysteries are gated again. These packs, they were actually glitched. The make rights were glitched. And if you pull the most feared pack, you weren't even getting most feared cards inside of it, which is crazy. I'm just going to open up these two mystery packs that were glitched. And then we'll try out the offer that I actually think could be kind of solid. Also was able to go through and get a free 90 BND breakout pack. So if you guys have that one, I think Jaden Daniels is actually a pretty sick card for me though. I don't have anyone that I really want to pick out of it because there's not like an offensive lineman or a defensive tackle that's actually going to play on my team. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. We got it right here though, the Holiday Deluxe Pack. Okay, now let's try out this 81 plus overall reroll because like I said, I've seen great things over on Twitter. I'm going to probably just quick sell my polls to see whether or not we make or lose training in this video. If we lose all our training, well, maybe the reroll isn't the greatest. We started off with an 81 Keith Byers. The only bad thing about this reroll is it's 1300 training. And if you pull an 84 overall player, you're not actually profiting in training. So if you pull higher than the minimum, which sometimes is hard to do in a reroll, you're not profiting. First two packs are going to be giving us back to back 81 overall cards. This might be a very, very short reroll at the end of the video. Again, rerolls typically aren't amazing. If there is a pack that's worth it, I'll probably go through and make a full video on the channel for you guys. I'm not surprised we're not getting any good pulls though, because we just pulled the Ronnie Lot. That card is selling for 100k. So typically with packs in this game, they don't juice you for the entirety. They'll kind of go in ebbs and flows. We float high and now we're absolutely crashing. But if you guys want to try it, I mean, it could be an interesting offer. I also think the fact that this all Madden pack only costs 37k. I mean, like that seems like a pretty good deal. That's pretty light for a couple of pretty good slots in here. If we're able to go through and pull someone good, I mean, we're making our coins back relatively easily. 30k isn't a ton. Now, obviously, if you're pulling back to back 81s like that, uh, you're not going to be making any coin and I'm not going to go through here and test this out any longer. Typically with packs in the store, anything other than a season special, it's going to be tough to make profit on and that's really no different here. I thought the pack reroll could be interesting. I tried a couple off camera, pulled some 86s. That's kind of how I got my training up to 5k, but then we lose it after the Ronnie Lott pull. Now, regardless, that is going to do it for me. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to scroll down and drop a like. If you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, let's hit some picks tonight, baby. Let's hope we sweep again. Hopefully we get at least one of those slips to hit. I think it's going to be a rainy, a cold game. We got the rushing attempts for both running backs in both of my slips. So let's hope both teams, they decide to tow the football. And until next time, I'm out. Love y'all. See ya.